All right, so in my job as the fashion editor at Portland Monthly, part of my job is to go to fashion shows. And for those of you who have friends who say, why is there fashion in Portland when you just wear like flannel and Birkenstocks? I, step one, you're a dirty liar. <laughs> we have a robust independent fashion scene. And step two, Birkenstocks are really making a comeback and they come in metallics now. <laughs> just something to think about. We actually have so many fashion shows that we have the good fashion shows and we have the shitty fashion shows. And this tale takes place at a shitty one. <laughs> so what makes a shitty fashion show? Um, for that, I rely on how many of you have seen the American cinema classic Zoolander? Okay, so as a person in the fashion industry, I'm not going to call it an exact documentary, but I'm not not going to call it that. It's pretty close. So picture that at the end with like the pristine white runway, people in their chairs, people like me sitting in the front row, feeling important, taking selfies, so much like Botox, vampire blood, we're aging backwards, we have Benjamin Button's disease, cocktails, it's amazing. <laughs> the thing about it that's not good is people are at this show not to watch fashion. This is where I get annoyed. I'm sitting there with my notebook. That's how you know I'm professional, notebook. <laughs> and they're there to get fucked up, which annoys me because I'm there to support the scene, sustainability, people creating, all of that. They're there to wear Forever 21 tube dresses. And specifically the dresses that are either, it's like a Sophie's choice of do I show my vagina, do I show my boobs? One has to show. And that is your choice, your body, your choice to make, but one has to be made. And I picture them walking out of the mall with their Forever 21 thing. And at the bottom of each one it has Bible verse John 3:16. That's a true fun fact about Forever 21. So they're also walking around going, I love fashion. Annoying. <laughs> While the show is happening, and there's like a lot of like German house, just inch, 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 inch. This is happening, and I'm watching the collections walk down. And there's some really amazing things. And then there's some things that's like, oh, did your mom tell you that was good? Because it's not good. But I look through the crowd, and I see this girl. I'm on this side of the runway. She's in the front row on the other side. And she's wasted. And I mean so wasted. Wasted to that point where, like, when you get wasted and you slowly turn into a pirate, that, like, <laughs> the eye kind of closes. <laughs> and, like, an eye patch slowly grows. And then, like, maybe a leg comes up and, like, a peg leg comes down. And then you're like, I'll have one more margarita. And then your hook comes in. <laughs> and by the time you get to like shots, it just like a parrot appears on your shoulder. <laughs> but I'm watching her and I know she's that drunk that I'm like, this cannot end well. It can't end well. And so we're on the last collection and now I'm just obsessed with her and my notes, which normally have things that like Delta Burke-esque in there, is no, it, there's nothing. I'm just watching her. <laughs> so the last collection, which has like these really fitted, beautiful couture, like $10,000 gowns, fancy designer in, like mermaid silhouette, walking down the aisle and they're just like gazelles, like shh, 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 shh. So amazing, Rihanna Met Gala. If you don't know those words, just like Google them, enjoy the culture. <laughs> and I'm watching it and then I, I see and I can tell what's happening. It's the same thing I hear with my cat in the middle of the night that like. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, sweet little dread pirates forever 21 takes off her purple stiletto heel. Blah. <laughs> and begins puking into her shoe. And now I'm slightly far enough back that sometimes at the end of a runway where the photo pit is, I will occasionally notice when I'm looking at, at the pictures afterwards that they can catch my face in them and how I'm reacting to the collections, which I try and be very stoic and like Anna Winter, but I can't do sunglasses at night because I'm not an asshole. So <laughs> I'm just like trying to keep it, but I know that my face in any of the photos is like, So I'm watching her and I'm like, this cannot get worse or better. I don't even know. But then I realize it can because what we do not know is it is an open-toed shoe. <laughs> 
So my sweet little baby pirate has her purple stiletto like Jessica Simpson and she's throwing up into it and has effectively created the most elegant vomit waterfall you have ever seen. And it's coming out through the little purple peep toe, just like a purple suede peep toe, onto the pristine white runway, going across the runway where the gazelles in their gowns with the trains are now swishing through, dragging the vomit along the runway, just trailing it out. And she keeps going. The ones behind are bringing more of it. The third gazelle slips, regains herself, regains herself. But it was amazing. Now I've gone into the, hooray, how did I end up here? If the photo sees my face, I'm like, oh, most amazing fashion show now I've ever been to in my life. The third one makes it through. Then, sweet little pirate passes the fuck out. Boom, down, on the runway. You've seen that episode of Sex in the City, Fashion Roadkill? I'm living it real life now. She's on the runway. Gazelles are just walking over her and going, keeping on their way. Two little unpaid volunteers appear, like in, the, uh, like in a game of tennis where the ball runners come. They grab her, disappears into the night, never see her again, vaporize. I don't know what happened. We should probably put out a missing persons case. I have no idea. She's gone. The show ends. People who are still trying to pretend we're fashion and fancy are now watching the trail of vomit as it, like, the smell is emanating up to us, pretending we're still classy and, like, clapping. We did it. We did it. And that is when I realized, like, maybe fashion shows aren't shitty because they suck. Maybe they're shitty because they stink.